Welcome to episode 5 of On-Site Notes. I'm Willem Molesworth, the director of Desart in Hong Kong. On-Site Notes! Today, we'll be talking about Desart's represented artist, Liang Ban. He was born in Guangxi in 1985 and currently lives and works in Beijing. His practice can be understood as if he were a cultural archaeologist of yeah. sorts, unearthing bits and pieces of our collective history and illuminating them. Through poetic juxtapositions of these artifacts, via video, installation, or both, he teases out questions about human nature, our complex histories, and life in the 21st century. A poetic work that's a good example of this is a piece Liang Ban produced in 2012 called Stars. The large-scale three-channel video work begins with an image of flags from dozens of countries. The flags then slowly fade to black, leaving only stars on each of them. The result looks like a night sky, uniting a collective human tendency to aspire by looking towards the sky for symbolism, significance, and meaning. Another interesting example is his 2018 work Good Times, Bad Times. Here, Leon Bond draws portraits of award-winning actors and celebrities with an iPad in red and green, which are then shown in repetition on two screens. The red portraits are of celebrities who were most successful in years of economic prosperity, while the green portraits are of celebrities from periods of economic hardship. The crux of this work lies in two theories, one by the American psychologist Terry F. Pettyjohn and the other by Japanese economist Shimanaka Yuji. Petty John theorized that in times of hardship, the general populace has a preference for celebrities with hardened, edgy, and traditionally masculine features, Hello. while in times of prosperity, the opposite is true. Shimanaka, on the other hand, theorizes something entirely different, that there's a connection between economic downturns and sunspot activity. By referencing both of these theories within his artwork, Leon Bon asks us to consider not only the validity of these claims, but the unseen and often unconsidered impact of the collective well-being on us all as individuals, as well as how we are constantly affected and subject to celestial phenomenon, which are not only outside of our control, but outside of our perception. Whoa. One of his most recent bodies of works uh, is the Stutter series, which is, you can see behind me. Visually resembling a virus-stricken computer, Stutter depicts an array of smartphones overlapping one another, with the word f written on a home screen using app icons. Referencing the frustrating yet familiar errors of now outdated computer systems, the work compares lagging windows to stuttering, and stuttering to self-suppression to self to self to self-suppression self of speech. Another newly debuted work in the exhibition is Caged Bird, which depicts the social media platform Twitter's famed app of a bird attempting to escape its screen. The bird flutters across a field of red and white stripes, only to discover that its effort is in vain. Leon Bond's other works are quite varied, but consistent in their poetic twists and archaeologically like archaeologically like exploration of cultural subject matter. He has dressed as a vagabond and hiked a mountain in an attempt to lasso a bolt of lightning. He has acted as a pirate who has a strange relationship between his cell phone and a coconut. He has created easily shareable iPhone videos where the screen mimics or reflects the internet's relationship to nature and human anxiety, as well as large sculptural installations that reference important monuments like Mount Rushmore or the Nazca Lines in Peru. Leon Bond's exhibition, Pearl Rolling Across the Floor, is on display here at Desart until November 14th. If you're in Hong Kong, I encourage you to stop by. I can explain to you what this is. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time. On site notes!